Today we have an awesome 26 minute total body workout plan for you. In total, we'll have about 30 minutes of work. We're going to lead you through a two minute warm up. Then you'll grab a sip of water, you'll have some time. Lauren will explain the format of the workout coming up. It's all total body, body weight. So you'll notice we only have mats. All you need is a mat or a soft surface and we can get right into it. So we're gonna start with our two minute warm up. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, we're starting with some high knees. So landing lightly on our feet, on the ball of our foot. We're lifting up those knees. And this is just getting our heart rate up. We always wanna land softly. Make sure we're using our arms to help. And just really lifting those knees. Oh, all right, it's already getting up. Okay, in about 10 seconds, we'll go into butt kicks. All right, let's move into those butt kicks in three, two, one. Okay, so similar. So this time our heel is coming to our glute. So we always wanna keep nice and relaxed in our shoulders, landing softly on our feet, and we're just kicking it out. So let's look at our blood flowing. You'll start to feel a little bit warmer, and then we'll be ready to roll into our workout. Okay, last few butt kicks here. We're going into jumping jacks next. In three, two, one. All right, jumping jacks. So again, we always want to land light on our feet. If it starts to feel like it's a lot of impact for you, you can just step out with those hands and legs. Otherwise, right back into those jumping jacks. Okay, last few jumping jacks here. We're going into cross jacks. Similar. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're coming across our body. And we're crossing our feet, so it gets a little tricky. Take some coordination. Again, it's always landing really lightly on the balls of our feet. You shouldn't hear yourself landing very loudly at all. Last few seconds here. We can grab some water, stretch it out, and Lauren will explain what's coming next. All right, last few reps here. In three, two, one. Nice job. Ooh. Okay. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmed up, maybe a little bit out of breath. We've got a great total body workout for you guys today. 26 minutes, so how it's gonna work. We've got circuit one, that's gonna be nine minutes. It's gonna be four exercise, each performed for 45 seconds at a time. We're gonna do that for three rounds. So that'll total nine minutes. We'll take a one minute break to grab some water, take a quick breath, and then we'll get into circuit number two. Circuit number two is the same thing, four exercises, three rounds through, total of nine minutes. Then we'll take one more one minute break, really catch that breath, get excited, final six minutes coming up after that. It'll be one time through circuit one, followed by one round of circuit two for a total of six minutes, and that'll be your workout for the day. Let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna get set up into circuit one. Our first exercise is knee to elbow plus push up. So we'll get started there in three, two, one. So coming out into a high plank position, our shoulders are directly over our wrists. We're going same knee to same elbow. So really squeezing your obliques, right side, left side, and then dropping into that push-up. Option is always to drop your knees and work a modified push-up from your knees, and then pop back up, and then you'll work that knee to elbow push-up. So again, it's right side, left side, and then working that push-up. So you wanna always keep your core engaged, a nice flat back. Really feel like you're squeezing your obliques as you come in and then slow and controlled working that push-up. You wanna look about six inches in front of your hands. It keeps a nice long neck. And then right back into it. All right, last few here. We'll be flipping onto our backs next in three, two, one. Okay, so we're working a hip lift to a leg drop. So getting set up, one hip lift, our feet are going straight up to the ceiling, and then we are dropping our legs. So if you feel like your lower back is coming off of the ground, be sure to press it in, or you can always put your hands right under your lower back for extra support, working that lift, and then that lower, or you can always bend your knees for that lower. And it takes a little bit of the pressure off and makes it a little bit easier. So again, it's like you're stamping your feet straight up, using your lower abs, and then dropping your feet. So last few reps here, we'll be standing next. Final one here in three, 
two, one. All right, quick transition. We're standing up, we're working a squat plus kick. So getting set up with our feet hips width distance apart. We're squatting back, nice proud chest. So it's like you're sitting in a chair, standing, and then kicking with one leg straight out. Back into that squat, and then kick in. So it takes a bit of core stabilization to get a nice good kick as well. You always wanna feel like your weight is in your heels and you're sending your glutes straight back in that squat. A lot of us have a tendency to round our shoulders. So pull those shoulders back and down. Work that squat and kick. Okay, last few here, then we're going into squat jacks. That is definitely more of a cardio one in three, two, one. Okay, getting set up, it's like you're doing a jumping jack, but you're jumping out, sending your glutes back, dropping down. Your hands can hover or touch, nice proud chest. Hopping back in. So keeping a nice pace here, you're working a lot of cardio, but it's really great for your inner thighs, your outer glutes, and to really get your heart rate up and your blood flowing. So that's your fourth exercise. We'll be going back into that knee to elbow plus push up. How you feeling, Laura? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, it's getting up. It is. It doesn't take much body weight and some creativity and you've got a great workout. Okay, last three, two, one. All right. We're moving back into that knee to elbow plus push up. Option to drop onto your knees again. If that helps you maintain proper form, that's perfect. Drop on down. Those elbows come to about a 45 degree angle. Nice flat back. Tight core and then you pop right back up. So we always encourage you to try to do a few normal ones if you can. And then you can always drop to your knees. We might, <laughs> we might need to as well. <laughs> Again, squeezing those obliques, nice flat back. And then working that push up. Okay, last rep here. Three, two, one. Flip them onto our backs. Hip lift to toe touch. Again, you have the option to put your hands under your lower back as you work that hip lift, and then dropping those heels. Or advance just hands behind your head. As long as your lower back is not popping up, remember, engage your core, push your back into the ground, and always the option to bend your knees for that leg drop. about 10 seconds left here. We'll be going into that squat and kick. So now that you know what to do, we'll pick up the pace just a little bit. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, right up. Round two, okay, set up again. Weight is in our heels, nice proud chest. We're squatting and we're kicking. So you wanna drop down until you reach about a 90 degree angle with your thighs. If you can't come all the way down, that's okay. Try to come as far down as you can, keeping a nice proud chest, and then core is engaged. I'm breathing now. Yep. <laughs> this is good stuff. We're over halfway through this first set. Over halfway until we get that minute rest. Hang with us. All right, going in squat jacks in three, two, one. Here we go. Another modification here is if you're doing the squat jacks and it's way too much, then you're going to squat down and tap out, but the weight is only in your standing leg, so you're really burning out your glutes. But if you can do squat jacks, keep with them. They're a great exercise. They're one of our favorites. Really great for cardio. Hence why we're breathing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so a couple more of these reps. We're finishing up round two. We're going right into round three. Okay, last three, two, one. Okay, last set here. Knee to elbow plus push up. Let's earn this recovery. Again, as much as you want to tense up in your neck, try to keep it nice and relaxed. Your gaze is about six inches in front of your hands. You want a nice long spine from your tailbone to your head. 
All right, last few reps. Whew. Again, option to drop to your knees if you need to. All right, let's get one more in. Okay, final three, two, one. Nice work. Final time, hip lift to that leg drop. So the goal is to really control on the way down. And then as you work that hip lift, you wanna go straight up and down. Instead of having your feet come forward and backwards, try to control to go straight up before we lower our legs. So this is a time when you can get your heart rate down a bit. Try to really remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and control this exercise. Okay, last few reps here. We've got three, two, one. Standing it up, squat and kick. We've been here twice before. We know exactly where to go. Whew. Less than 90 seconds. I'm starting to sweat. Good job, Laura. Hang it in there. We are so close to that minute rest. You hear we're going into squat jacks. Everything we've got, we've got 45 seconds there and then we rest. In three, two, one. All right, here we go, squat jacks. So just finding that nice pace that you can keep. Again, keeping your chest nice and proud, landing lightly. All right, almost there, about 20 seconds left. Final time. Last few reps here, we recover. All right, last three, two, one more rep here. Woo, good oh. job. Okay, first circuit is done. Good job, Laura. You're probably a little bit winded, we are. So right now is when you wanna grab some water, towel off if you're sweaty like I am. Stretch it out a little bit, your arms might be little tired, <laughs> you're breathing hard. So a couple nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, really gets that heart rate down. We'll stretch out our legs. We have one more circuit coming up. It's going to be the exact same thing. It's just four new exercises. And then we'll rest again, and we'll go through all eight exercises just one time. So we've got about 30 more seconds here. Any stretches that you need, grab some water, not too much. Lauren will be leading us through the next the next round. All right, last few seconds here. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna get going. All right, you ready, Kel? Ready, I think so. Let's get into it. All right. All right, getting right into circuit two. We're gonna start off here with alternating hamstring reaches. Here we go, in three, two, one. So reaching down with your opposite arm, keeping a micro bend in your standing leg, and returning to the top. This is really gonna work your hamstrings and your glutes and you're just working slowly here. So sometimes it helps to find a point in front of you to focus on, and you're just alternating legs, making sure that your entire body is like one lever, working together. So you're not bending at the hips, everything is just working as one unit. I'm telling you right now, these are just look deceivingly easy, but I can almost guarantee you'll be sore tomorrow. Just keeping a nice easy pace here those hamstrings. Last one here. Moving right into monster walks plus squat jumps. So drop low into a squat. We're taking three large steps, staying low, and then we're taking a jump. So three the other way. The key here is to stay low the entire time. If you can't do the jump, that's totally okay. Instead of the jump, you're going to pulse three times. So one, two, three, and then work that monster walk back the other way. So this is a major quad burner. Gets your cardio going. How are you feeling, Cal? Woo, Brady's burning. <laughs> I love this one, though. Yep, so once again, modification. Three pulses. Keep it going. We got less than 10 here. We'll be getting it 
into some core. All right, three, two, one. All right, down on our mats. We're working alternating V-ups. So alternating bent knee V-ups. You're raising up, touching your opposite hand to your opposite foot, lowering back down. So really making sure to keep your core engaged the entire time, sucked into your spine, sitting up, touching that opposite toe, and returning back down. All right, so you should be feeling a good burn here. If sitting up is too much, you can always just work a little bit of a crunch at the top for a modification. But we encourage you to try it if you can. <laughs> Here. We're just holding it for 45 seconds. You really want to make sure that your hips are tucked under. You're pressing out of your shoulders. You don't want to slump down in because that'll create some tension in your shoulders. You want to make sure your shoulders are stacked directly above your elbows and your core is sucked into your spine nice and tight. So you're just holding here. If you need an added challenge, you can always kind of rock front to back on those toes. But I'm pretty sure <laughs> a blank hold is just enough. <laughs> You guys are doing great. We've got less than 15 seconds to go. Holding tight, making sure not to drop that back at all. Just keeping it nice and flat. Getting back into that first exercise in three, two, one. All right, we're popping back up into those hamstring reaches. So once again, alternating hamstring reaches, finding that balance, and really making sure to pull from that hamstring and glute every time you rain back to the top. This is a little bit of a balancing act here. So you can take it slow and just focus on that movement. Remembering your body's working all as one unit. Feeling a little bit of a burn in the back of your legs, your hamstrings, maybe your booty. What do you think, Kel? I'm feeling it. It's a nice little break, but it takes yeah, some focus. Yeah, it's a nice cardio break, that's for sure. All right, a couple more seconds here. We're back into those monster walks. We're there, here we go. Drop and low. Three large steps, and then a squat jump. So staying low the entire time. We're working those large steps. You should feel this in your outer glutes if you need a modification. We're pulsing three times at the bottom. Your cardio wasn't up during the hamstring reaches. Hopefully it is now. Ten seconds to go, then we'll get down into those alternating bent knee V-ups. Last one here. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Alternating bent knee V-ups. Line on your back. Working that alternating knee sit up. Touching the opposite hand to your foot. Ooh, I'm still breathing heavy. I am too. All right. So just making sure that core is tucked in the whole time and you're lifting, you're not pulling your neck too much, you're just kind of keeping it nice and relaxed, keeping those shoulders dropped down, and that core engaged. Once again, the modification here is to lift the knee and just do a bit of a crunch at the top if you can't work that full sit up. All right, you guys are doing great. We're flipping over into that forearm plank. In three, two, one, here we go. 45 seconds here, you've got this. This one is all mental. Just gotta find a comfortable place. A happy place. <laughs> really comfortable place. <laughs> really happy place. Um, make sure you're pushing out of those shoulders. Shoulders directly above your elbow. Hips are tucked under. And your core is sucked tight. It's really easy here when we get tired <laughs> to start dropping that core. Really kind of trying to keep it sucked in. If you absolutely need a break, you can push up into a little bit of a pike and then drop back down into it. Or if you have to, drop your knees for a second, get right back in. Just do your best to hold that form. All right, just five seconds. We're back into our final round in three, two, one. All right, pop it up. We're working those alternating hamstring reaches. We've got just three minutes left in the circuit. We've got a full minute to rest and recover. So once again, finding that balance. Maybe finding a place in front of you to focus on. Just 
just working that hamstring reach. into those monster walks with squat jump. Just 45 seconds, we back down to the core. Here we go for those monster walks. In three, two, one. All right, let's go guys. This is our final round of these before our next break. So we just wanna make sure to really work it, stay low the entire time, get the most out of it. Then we've just got a couple of core exercises. Get a quick breather. You should be able to feel like this in your quads, in your glutes, <laughs> in your cardio. This is a great one. Make sure you're also keeping your core set tight the entire time. It's really important for proper body control. Got less than 10 seconds. Hang with me. Last jump in three, two, one. All right, back down into our alternating V-ups, here we go. Just really reaching, trying to touch those toe shoelaces every time. Keeping that core sucked in and tight every time you lift and controlling that neck. All right guys, we've got under one minute left of work before we rest. Hang with me, I know it's getting challenging. I know our cores are on fire. You got this. Last rep here before you flip it over in three, two, one. All right, 45 seconds of plank, you can do this. It's mine never matter, hang with it. Hold are tight, hips are tucked under. A little shaky. This. A little bit shaky. <laughs> you might be totally wobbling right now, that's okay. That's where the change happens. This is where it counts, this is where it's worth it. Keep those abs holding the entire time. We've got just 15 seconds to go. We're almost there. We'll have a full minute to rest after this. Hanging on to it. We're coming down in five. Last three, two, one. All right. <laughs> Perfect place to just drop down. Get a little bit of a core stretch here. I personally like to put my forearms on the mat and then just arch my back a little bit. You can feel a nice deep stretch in that core. Do whatever you want. You've got a full minute here. We've got only six minutes of work left. Cal's gonna be taking us through it. So what that six minutes is gonna look like. We're gonna repeat the first four exercises that Kelly, re that Kelly led us through, followed by the last four that I just led you through with no break in between, but it's only gonna be six minutes. You guys have done two nine minute walks already. You got this, now's the time to really get after it, get the most out of it, make sure this workout counts. Let's go ahead, whatever you need, grab some water, towel off, stretch out those arms. Kel's working a little bit of hamstring stretches after those reaches. <laughs> I'm gonna do a couple of quad stretches because those monster walks are killing me. Whew. Alrighty, we're getting back into it in five. You ready for this? Yep, here we go. In three, two, one. Final eight exercises once through. Here we go, let's get started in that knee to elbow plus push up in three, two, one. All right, here we go. So we've already been here before. This is where we try to pick up that intensity. Six minutes of work total. You will never see these exercises again, at least in this workout. Nice job, Laura. Again, always the option if you need to drop to those knees, get right back up into that high plank and right into it. All right, 15 seconds here. Last few reps. Let's go for two more. Okay, last rep here. Flipping onto our backs. In three, two, one. Okay, so going back to that hip lift leg drop, we've already been here right into it. Again, keeping our lower back really pressed into the mat, using our lower abs. Always that option to bend our knees for that leg drop. 
All right, we've got about 15 seconds left here. We will stand it up next. Okay, last few here. Last three, two, one. Okay, standing up for that squat and kick. Again, weight is in our heels. Squatting down, using our core to lift and control that kick. How are you feeling, Laura? Really good. Sweaty? Feeling like core. <laughs> Good. It's good. Now, yeah. So when it's total body, even when we're working legs, we're always working core. That core is engaged. Our posture is great. We're moving through. Okay, last few reps here. We're going into those squat jacks. But remember, we'll go right in to those hamstring reaches. You'll get a little bit of that cardio break. Okay, here we go. In three, two, last kick here. One, right into squat jacks. Here we go. Final time. You've got this. Keeping up that steady pace so you can maintain the whole time. Wanna keep our shoulders pressed back. Nice proud chest, sending our glutes straight back. You're doing great, we're almost there. Final 15 seconds and we'll go into those hamstring reaches. All right, here we go. Last few reps. In three, two, let's get one more in. One, okay, hamstring reaches. You're a little bit shaky now. <laughs> Once your cardio is up, so it might be harder to balance, so really slow and controlled. Nice flat back, micro bend in our knee. Slow, slow exercise. We're in the second half of the last six minutes, so hang with us. Your heart's probably beating <laughs> out of your chest after the squat jacks. So now's the time to bring it on back down. Okay, last few reps here. I know our legs are tired, but we have those mountain, mountain monster walks coming up. All right, in three, two, last rep here. One, right into it, dropping low. We're taking three large steps to the right. We gotta stay low, low. At least an inch lower than we were the last few rounds. Let's burn it out. Outer glutes are on fire. How are yours feeling, Laura? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right here. Oh, final leg exercise. We got yep. This. So you want to stay low. You're landing really quietly. You're never coming out of this low squat. That's the challenge. Okay, we got about 15 seconds left. Hang on to it. We're taking it to our mats next. Finishing with core. Let's make this workout count. All right, five seconds. Here we go. Last squat jump here. All right, nice job. Bringing it down to our mat. Those bent knee V-ups, right into it. Really controlling on the way down. It's slow and controlled, powerful up. This is all coming from our core. We're not using our arms to kick up at all. Everything is coming from our core. Amazing work. We've got about a minute left of this workout. All right, we've got that. Forearm plank coming up. Last few reps here. Trying to control. Last three, two, final one here. Flip right into it. Here we go. Final 45 seconds. Up on those toes, flat back, and we're just zoning out. You've got this. It might feel like four minutes up here, but we have less than 30 seconds. Zone out, think of all the work you've just put in. The amazing results that you'll have. It's such a quick and efficient workout. You're doing amazing. We have 20 seconds. Let's go, Laura. Hang on a bit. If you feel like your booty's coming up, drop that back down. It's nice and flat. Final 10. Shaking. You got this. <laughs> all right, don't stop early. We all got this. In five. Finishing up in three, two, one. <sighs> Whew, dropping down. Yeah, exactly like Lauren yeah. said. Perfect spot to go into that Cobra. So amazing job.
Take some time right now, stretch it out. Static stretching is wonderful after you finish. I hope that we showed you you don't need equipment and a whole lot of space to get in an amazing workout. You crushed it, we hope to see you soon.